Hello and welcome back. We are going to start today with Pearson Edexcel, International Advanced Level, May 2020, Pure Mathematics Paper 2, whose subject code is WNA1201. Now let us start with the first question of this question paper. Okay, now the first question A part says, find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion 2 minus x over 4 raised to the power of 10, giving each term in its simplest form. Now this question belongs to the binomial expansion chapter. Here they want us to write the first four terms in ascending powers of x. Ascending powers of x means from the smallest power of x you have to keep on increasing till you reach the fourth term. So first term, second term, third term and fourth term. So they want us to expand this given bracket till four terms and giving each term in its simplest form. Now the formula for the binomial expansion is given below. So this is the formula you have to remember for the binomial expansion. a plus b to the power of n is equal to a raised to n plus n1 a raised to n minus b and so on. So whatever number you want to expand, you have to expand it till there. Here we want to expand it till x cube. And before we do that, we need to know what is a, what is b and what is n. Now we can compare a plus c to the power of n with 2 minus x over 4 to the power of 10. So let us write it down. a plus b to the power of n is equal to 2 minus x over 4 to the power of now if we compare these both, in place of A, we have 2. In place of B, we have minus x over 4. Take down the signs as well, because here it is plus and here it is minus. And n is equal to 10. So we are going to substitute these values in the formula above. So we write it as 2 minus x over 4 to the power of 10 is equal to a raised to n. So here our a is 2. So we write it as 2 to the power of n. n is 10 here. So we write it plus n1. So n is 10 and we have 1. Then we write it as a to the power of n minus 1. So it becomes 2 to the power of 10 minus 1. Then we have got b also here. So we put the b value as minus x over 4. Then plus n2. So 10, 3. Then we have a to the power of 10, n minus 2. So we have got 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 b squared, so get it as minus x over 2, so b squared, plus, we have to keep on doing it till we get 4 terms, so if we see we have got the first term, second term, third term, and one last we need to write, so we write it as 10, 3, as you can see the numbers are increasing here, here it was 1, here it is 2, here it is 3. Now comes 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. So 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. Let me take it a little bit on this side. Got no space at the end. So we have 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. And then we have, here it was b. Here it is b squared. Here it will be b cube. So we have minus x over 2. x over 4. x over 4. To the power of 3. 
So after this, we got our first term, second term, third term, and fourth term. So now we have to got to simplify this. We are going to write it as 2 to the power of 10. So let us check out how much it is going to be. Okay, so 2 to the power of 10, let us check out. 2 raised to 10, get it as 1022. So we write here as 1022. And then 10 1. This is a, can be written as 10 C R. So we write 10. C R is 1. So we write it as 10 C 1. Giving us as 10. So plus 10. Now 2 raised to 10 minus 1 is 9. So we write it as 2 to the power of 9. 5 1 2. So we have 5 1 2. And then this remains as minus x over 4 raised to 1 is minus x over 2. And plus 10 C 2. So let us check out how much it is. 10 C 2. Yeah, up to 5. So we write here up to 5. And 2 raised to 10 minus 2 is 8. So 2 raised to 8. 2 to the power of 8 is 256. 6. And here it means minus x over 4 the whole square. So minus x square is positive x square over 4 square is 16. Plus now 10 c 3. So let us check out what we get. This term is not here as 10 120 and 2 to the power of 7. Get it as 2 raised to 7. We want to do it. So, 128. Then, here, minus x cubed is minus x cubed over 4 cubed is 64. Let us further simplify this. We have the first term, we simply 1024 plus, we have 10 times 512. 10 times 512 okay, then we have to divide it by 4 to get plus 1 to 8 zero. so there is a minus over here plus with minus will be minus so let us change it over here it becomes minus on to put that 1280 Then we have 45 multiplied with 256. Then we have to divide it by 16. It is 720. So plus 720 x squared. Now, plus with the minus, we put it as minus. First, solve the signs. Then go for or solving the numbers. So plus with minus is minus. Then we have 120 multiplied with 128 divided by 64. So we get it as 240. So minus 240 is Q. So this is the simplest expansion of the given term. This should give you the final answer of part A. Let us look at the brief part of the question now. Let's find the constant term in the series expansion of 3 minus 1 over x the whole square times 2 minus x over 4 the whole raised to 10. What they want us to do is they want us to expand these two brackets and get the constant term out after expanding these two. So 3 minus 1 over x the whole square, we can expand it by taking it as two brackets. So we can write it as 3, three minus 1 over x the whole square. So 
can be written as 3 minus 1 over x times 3 minus 1 over x. So expanding it using the FOIL method, so we get 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times minus 1 over x is minus 3 over x. Minus 1 over x times 3 gives you minus 3 over x. And minus 1 over x times minus 1 over x gives you plus 1 over x squared. So this is the expansion of 3 minus 1 over x the whole square. So let us write it down 9 minus 3 over x. So minus 3 over x and minus 3 over x you can combine it together because they are like terms. And that gives us minus 6 over x and plus 1 over x squared. So this has to be multiplied with 2 minus x over 4 raised to 10. Now we have already got the expansion of this bracket in the previous question. So we have 1024 minus 1280x. So let us write it down. 1024. Minus one two eight zero x. In the next terms are plus seven twenty x squared minus two forty x cubed. So plus seven twenty x squared minus two forty x cubed. Go down. Since we are taking just the first four terms. We are considering the first two terms, but actually in an expansion, the expansion keeps on going further. Just write down this. Okay, now what we want us to do is find the constant term. Constant term is one in which there are no variables involved. We need to get only the numbers. So the terms which you can use over here is 9 multiplied with 1, 0, 2, 3. Because both are numbers, so we can consider it 9 times 1, 0, 2, 4. Then, I cannot take 9 times 1, 2, 8, 0, x. Because if I multiply 9 with 1, 2, 8, 0, x, I end up getting an x term of a constant term like this. Same thing happens if I multiply 9 with 7, 20, x um, squared. Same thing happens when I multiply 9 with 720x squared because I end up getting an x squared term and so on. So 9 multiplied with only 1, 0, 2, 3. Now let us check with minus 6 over x times 1, 0, 2, 3. So if I multiply minus 6 over x with 1, 0, 2, 3, I end up getting a x term in the denominator. But I need only the constant terms. So I cannot multiply these two. But if I multiply minus 6 over x with minus 1, 2, 8, 0, x. So minus 6 over x and minus 1, 2, 8, 0, x. So minus of minus is is plus 6 over x multiplied with 1, 2, 8, 0, x. Now we can see the x term and the x term from here gets cancelled. So leaving only the constant terms. Now let us go for the next one. Negative 6 over x multiplied with 720x squared. So here again we will get after multiplication an x term in the numerator. This is not a constant. So we cannot multiply these two terms. And finally minus 6 over x with minus 240x cubed. The multiplication of these two terms gives us an x squared term in the numerator. Since it does not give us a constant term, we are going to skip the multiplication. Then, plus 1 over x squared multiplied with 1, 0, 2, 4 gives us an x squared term in the denominator. We cannot multiply these two terms. If I multiply 1 over x squared with negative 1, 2, 8, 0, x, again I get an x term in the denominator, not a constant term. The next thing we are going to multiply is Multiply here is 1 over x squared plus with plus is plus 1 over x squared multiplied with 720x squared. Here 
here we can see the x square and x square terms gets cancelled and we are left with again a constant term. Let us check with 1 over x square and negative 240x cube. We are left with x term in the numerator. So we have only these terms which gives us a constant term. So let me write them again. 9 times 1024 plus 6 times 1280 plus 1 times 720. Let us find out what we get by multiplying these numbers. We have 9 times 1024 giving us 9216, 9216 plus 6 times 1280, that gives us 7680, and finally we have 720. That is all, add them together, it is 9216 plus 768. Zero plus seven hundred twenty. That gives us seventeen thousand six hundred sixteen. This is the answer for the part B. We have got the constant term of this expansion seventeen thousand six hundred seventeen.